Good afternoon, George Cavalier goes for HFT bonds. Another Thursday corrective trade. Same thing happened last Thursday. Uh, market proceeded lower overnight, made a low sometime between 6 and 7 a.m. Chicago time Friday morning, and then the rally up to the new high started from there. History doesn't always repeat, but it often rhymes. I think Mark Twain said that, one of my favorites. So we're going to take a look at it. You know, the bonds have been stuck here basically between 133 even and 133.07 all afternoon. It's been kind of a boring afternoon. Let's see what happens. Um, I've got some objectives on the downside. Um, 133.24, 133.11. I'd love to see them. I'm sorry, 132.24. And 132.11. 132.11 seems like a bridge too far for me right now. So I want to see what happens down around that 132.24 overnight. Small morning, real early. You know, you got to be an early riser to be a treasury trader. More and more we see significant highs and lows put in in that very early from the London Open till the pit opens here in Chicago session. It's often a good time to initiate trades. I'm not saying you got to get up at 2 a.m., but boy, you want to be up, uh, you know, 5 a.m., see what the markets are doing. I think I've put on more trades in the 6.30 to 7 time frame over the last couple weeks than ever before. And it's been okay for me, so keep that in mind. Tomorrow's Friday, we have some data. I think Jap Japan has some data tonight, too. They're all important CPI number, or the lack thereof. Um, we got Draghi speaking tomorrow morning, very early, and then we get some data here, the PC, uh, you know, personal income, personal spending. That PC number has been a favy of the Fed, so we got to watch that. And I believe we also get Michigan and a ton of Fed speak tonight and tomorrow morning. So I think the markets will be moving around early. You know, get your uh, trades done early tomorrow morning, get out by lunchtime, and go enjoy a beautiful, beautiful Friday afternoon, long weekend. So that's the game plan, guys. Not much else to add. Um, kind of low volume again, which I don't know if it means much. Um, we haven't seen those over 1 million 10-year contract days in a week. So we got to get some uh, real uh, anxiety going or, you know, back to the big smoke and equity rally that put a lot of pressure on the uh, treasuries again. The other thing you want to watch, obviously, is the month end and quarter end coming up early next week. Uh, you know, there's, I don't think it's a big extension for the index guys, but there is a tendency for these guys to mark those markets up on the uh, end of the month. So don't worry about the, the bull market ending yet, but uh, we want to be on our toes for a possibility of something like that next week. I shouldn't say bull market. <laughs> it's been a bear market for more than six months. And we've had a two-week rally, and I'm talking about a bull market. Never mind, I didn't say that. I'm sorry. Have a good evening. <laughs>